Hey guys, so today I am going to answer the question, will Alpha Investment ever take responsibility for the MetaZoo disaster? Now, it is a full-blown disaster at this point in time. Uh, there's been... So, there, this is MetaZoo in a garbage, supposedly, uh, via a comment of from my own. Maybe if you guys know, uh, there are many theories as to where this location is. So Nick Strength in Pokemon, he's the one who got sent this image. Love to talk to the guy who sent him the image, right? To figure out where he took it. There's been rumors that this is MetaZoo themselves dumping um, the boxes. That it's a distributor. Uh, Alpha Investment, of course, has deleted videos, almost like if he knew, uh, on MetaZoo. So... If you look at Alpha Investments channel, just like Tolarian Community College and Monthly Magic Box and Pico Trade, just like the Mana Source and Pico Trade, you would not know that they actually had advertised this product, which is obviously quite concerning and something that you should be aware of that these investment channels, I can tell you exactly how, let me tell you like, hey, invest money in Microsoft, Tesla, Nvidia, ARK Invest, Bitcoin, crypto, I can make a list of 10 different investments, right? Very high risk, very volatile. Maybe I just pick 10 penny stocks. I don't really pick penny stocks, so I don't know. I'll pick 10 magic cards I think are going to go to the moon. And then when the time comes and one of them goes to the moon, the other nine fail, I just delete the other nine videos. To a new subscriber, I look like a mother effing genius, right? Now, I don't delete my videos unless like... Uh, you know, I, I actually go through my videos in terms of views and just delete the ones that don't get enough views. But beyond this, this is pretty bad. And people won't blame Alpha Investment for this. But look at the name. Look at all caps, record shattering serialized number. I mean, the dude was so high on MetaZoo. And now, now what? Now you don't actually explain. I think it would be much more appropriate. If you said, hey, invest, everyone should invest in this thing, and then you go over if it failed, why did it fail? Why did you believe this was going to work? Did you like the artwork? Do you ever play the game? How were the game mechanics? Do you like the whole cryptid thing? Were you really into that? Like, I would still love to have, and I would live stream it, any of the MetaZoo content creators to come on my live stream and debate me on whether or not this was ever a real game. And the evidence, like hindsight is always twenty twenty, but hindsight will tell you if a stock is, like if a stock went to zero, <laughs> I don't know what the stock equivalent of, of the uh, creators of the stock dumping in trash cans is. But if, if, if this ever happened to another car, I, this has never happened to like Inuyasha or Meta X or any of this shit, man. These are card games that have been dead. In, I mean, I don't know what to say. I collect dead card games, and this stuff does not happen. Let me repeat this again. This does not happen because there's always a buyer for it. And even MetaZoo right now, there's always a buyer for this. MetaZoo first edition box breaks 1000 That box right now is like sub 100 Like the prices of from the height... I think it would be an incredible video series, right? If if Alpha Investments, Argos Anonymous, um, Ask Ketchum Collectibles, these are the free people. Bailey, supposedly there's like a whatnot streamer doing MetaZoo. I have made MetaZoo videos for the last two years telling you guys this is a scam. And I get the argument many people in MetaZoo can be, oh, it wasn't always a scam. It was, you know, you know, it, it blew up. But like the player base... Let, let me tell you something about IP. There's still tons of Inuyasha fans. And you know, I've gone to an anime convention before I started dating, right? You know, and we sold anime cards at that convention. We sold Inuyasha cards. There's still fans of Inuyasha. Inuyasha is not a cryptid that you stole the IP from. It's a character from an anime series that I watch, that I uh, love. Other people love that character too. So when they see that, oh, there's an official card, many of them have no idea there's a card game. The card game has been dead for 25 years or 30 years or something like that. Um, they are 
very, very avid fans. There are no mother effing avid fans of Meta Zoo. They're not. You know, how do you? Because I don't see them post. If, if I go on Twitter, I type in Inuyasha, I see posts about Inuyasha. Maybe not the card game, but Inuyasha. Man, I don't see nothing on, on Meta Zoo, man. I never saw anything. Look at the Reddit. Look at the. I'm supposedly it was all in Discord, right? Which has now been what deleted. I I think at the end of the day, um, what would be quite fascinating would be Alpha Investment telling you how much he paid for each box, how much his promos he paid. Supposedly he paid for his promos and play match. What his relationship with Mike Waddell was in the beginning, in the middle, in the end. Were there any warning signs he saw at, at the very end when? When Mike Waddell, after Mike Waddell made his letter, Alpha Investment was still asking. He was literally asking his customers, "What did anyone know why MetaZoo failed? Does anyone have any information? You have the mother effers number and you talk to him often to the point that you didn't even pick up anymore because you called him so much. Like, why would your random customer who bought an $8,200 bundle kit from you have any information on MetaZoo that you would not already have? So, like, he was feigning innocent, right? Look how happy he is. He's feigning innocence. Uh, Walmart, oh, just strike. And, and to be kind of honest, it is epic fail, man. Something is very rotten in MetaZoo. Because they did have Walmart. They did have Target. They did have Sanrio. They had Claire's and... Who knows what else they had? Like, they had it. Which is crazy. Like, it, it blows my mind. Like, this wasn't... It wasn't, like, a, as big of a failure as you guys think it was. They had distribution. At one time, they were selling Nightfall boxes for $820. At one time, Rudy promos were $100 plus a promo card. And you could even make a 6.9 mystery box about it. The only real information, like there, there are a few people who might know that Bailey guy because he went to the conventions. Supposedly, like he's an insider. I think Argos Anonymous. Given if you go on eBay right now and you click on like sales, it's all Argos Anonymous. The dude knew before. He then he made up a story about like him starting his like what was it like store some type of candy store <laughs> and then he had to sell his better. Like you can the eBay tells a story, dudes. You can check. When the Mike Waddell announcement happened and who was selling cards, Grail cards, right before that announcement. There's one name you're going to see over and over again. Argos, not, I would love to have Argos Anonymous debate me on this. Right? And the debate is really easy. Like, was it always a rug pull scam? Like, I mean, I think since the Streamer Kit Native, the fact that they didn't deliver that a year later, even like six months later, it doesn't matter. You want to effing pre-order that stuff. Like, I covered a card shop that did exactly that with One Piece. They collected all their pre-orders and didn't deliver the product. Would we say, oh, that, that's a totally cool? No, it would be a scam, right? So why would be MetaZoo be any different? I don't understand why you would give MetaZoo the benefit of the doubt when it's been scamming its customers this entire time with pre-orders. Because if a store did that, they would be roasted to oblivion. Anyway, hi guys.